Morning everyone, it's a little bit chilly this morning but it's still a great day to be exploring Christchurch. We've brought you out here to Avondale in Avonside Drive and you're standing here on a bit of a stop bank and if you look that way you can see the Avon River and it's looking very high and we're still two hours away from high tide. So the stop bank's obviously very necessary to protect these properties. And talking of properties, we've got Lloyd McGarvey here who is a cadastral surveyor. Lloyd, what does cadastral actually mean? Hi Shelley. Look, cadastral means that it relates to property boundaries, that's simply it, what it is. And we talk about there being a cadaster and that's the overlay of all the property boundaries on the land. Yep. Right, okay, so properties, sections, everybody's interested in those. How do you actually measure property boundaries? Okay, um, well, we use special equipment, and one type of equipment that we, use, that we use is this total station here next to us. It's basically a telescope, a protractor down in the bottom, and also inside that telescope is a, is a laser. So. This is used for measuring distances and angles. So obviously the telescope, you can look to where you're measuring to, and then a laser sends it, or it sends out a laser beam and measures the distance to whatever you're looking at. But the way we use that for uh, working out where property boundaries are, someone's been along and surveyed through here in the past when they originally laid off all the sections that these houses are built on and there are, they left behind marks in the ground, usually steel marks, right? And we, so that's the, we call those reference marks. So we, when we come to do a survey, we look for some of those reference marks and find enough of them and measure between enough of them to satisfy ourselves that things are they're all still in the same position as when they were originally put in. And once we've found those, enough of those reference marks to be reliab know reliably where we are, we can then start looking for boundary pegs along, uh, along the frontages of the sections. And by measuring between all those marks, we can determine whether the marks have moved and whether they still are accurate in terms of uh, telling us where the boundaries are. Yeah, and you saw those reference points yesterday with Nick, and that's what you put your total station over to make the measurements. Um, why aren't you using GPS here? OK, well, you've seen GPS working before, and GPS works differently because it's receiving signals from satellites up, uh, up in the sky, somewhere, somewhere up there. But here we've got a bit of a problem with that because of this, this tree here, so that would potentially cut out some of the signals from the satellites. So that would mean we may not get an answer or we may get an, an, an inaccurate answer from our surveying. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, so we're gonna move on and find out what happens when property boundaries move during an earthquake.